Anisha and welcome back to another painting video. Okay, so for today we're gonna paint a scene. I mean, I'm gonna paint a scene from one of my first Studio Ghibli movie that I've ever seen and it's from The Cat Returns and I know not a lot of people know about that movie, I don't know why. I think it's a great movie and if you haven't watched it, you should watch it. I don't know, this movie just have a special place in my heart so I had to paint a scene from there. So the scene was from this one where the girls went to go meet the Baron to ask for help for whatever was going in the movie but just this whole place were really cute and I saw this picture on Pinterest so it had to be in my sketchbook. So I first had to start sketching and oh boy, that was a lot of work. I don't know if you remember, but last week I said that I had to times 20 to like speed up the sketchup process. But this one, <laughs> I had to speed it a lot more because I was going back and forth and there was a lot of things that needed to be like measured and stuff. So I did a rough sketch and then I couldn't draw a single straight line so I had to pull out my ruler to help me throughout the process so enjoy the drawing part and I think it's funny how measuring everything now and later when I'm gonna be painting I'm not gonna follow everything to the line but you know, it's in my sketchbook and I'm just having fun, so it's fine. And it was finally time to paint, so for this one, I decided to use my Art X gouache set and also for this painting, it kind of took me like three days to finish the painting. I mean, three afternoon, I would say. It's because I've been on duty at school, so I've been having work and I've been super tired. So I only had the afternoon to do it. And the afternoon comes with sunset and I face the sunset. So it's kind of hard because the light will fluctuate. Plus with daylight saving, it's giving me less sunlight to work with. So you'll see go dark to bright to dark to bright again, because I'll paint when it's like getting close to dark and then I'll be like, oh no, that's too dark. Let's finish tomorrow. And then tomorrow it's super bright and then go slowly to being dark again. So I hope you don't mind that. I also have my ring light, but I feel like it's so much nicer to use the natural light and it makes the painting looks a lot better on camera. And also it doesn't help when I was mixing colors at some point, it would mess up with my brain into thinking what are the right colors I'm using. So as you can see here, I was kind of struggling with the colors and I kept going back and forth and mixing different colors at the same time. I don't know, I think it's because the light was changing, it was kind of messing up with my brain, but the good thing with gouache is I can always keep layering and changing it, so that made it a lot more fun to work with.
And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I like painting landscape and nature stuff because there's nothing to be measured. But this one had a lot of things that I had to take into consideration when I was painting it. So to be honest, I was getting like a little bit frustrated because I had to paint in between lines and make sure I don't go over it. But in the end, I kind of just like let it go if I still made some mistakes in it. But yeah, I don't usually move my sketchbook around. But for this part, I had to move it closer to me so I could see where I'm painting the thin lines. And yeah, after that, it got too dark. So I had to wait for the next day to continue painting. To be honest, one of the first things that drew me to the picture was actually the color of the house and turquoise slash teal is one of my favorite colors and when I saw the picture, it reminded me of the movie but also of my favorite colors so I really want to paint it and when I finally got to paint with the colors that was already from my gouache set, I was super excited to do it. It was just not that fun because the sun was going down in the end so yeah, I will still be going back and forth with my colors but in the end, I will end up changing my palette because I'm more of a primer primary colors type person so I felt like the colors in the art X was limiting me for the painting I'm pretty sure in the future I'm gonna have other painting that I would love to just use those pasta colors but for this one I needed to go back to my primary colors <laughs> It was finally the third day which had to be my last day because I was gonna drag it for way too long so I woke up a bit earlier to stop painting and I was able to finish before the sun came down so you should be proud of me <laughs> so yeah I went for a lot of emotions for this painting I was frustrated but I'm also happy how parts of it turned out and I'm okay if it didn't turn out perfect I still like the way it turned out in the end
final step was to add the line art and I know at the beginning I was using a ruler to just draw everything but this time I just wanted to sketch it out with my hands so that's what I'm doing right now and I still think it turned out good. Alright, I hope that you guys enjoy watching me paint or paint along with me. Let me know what you thought about the video or the painting and I will see you in the next one. Allez, bye!